Welcome to Finding Sacred Spaces. We are on a pilgrimage to discover and share Catholic waypoints in America. Hello, I'm George. And I'm Sue. And we're continuing our visit to the Basilica and National Shrine of Our Lady of Consolation. In this video, we share with you the Lower Basilica and how we discovered it. Once again, we are at the Basilica and National Shrine of Our Lady of Consolation in Cary, Ohio. I was browsing the Google reviews of the shrine while waiting for the video files of the shrine's outside to transfer from the camera to my computer. I quickly came across this one review that stated that there were more surprises downstairs. What? There was a downstairs and we totally missed it. So we went back for a third time to document the lower basilica. As I was taking pictures of the pilgrims' photos in the downstairs hallway with my back toward the main doors of the lower basilica, Sue tapped me on the shoulder and said, look behind you. I turned around and was literally speechless. There was a whole other beautiful sacred space downstairs. As you turn to the right through the main doors, you're presented with the over 200 dresses that Our Lady of Consolation wears throughout the year. You may have noticed in the previous videos that the shrine statue was wearing purple as we were visiting during the Lenten season. Now, these dresses have been donated by pilgrims in thanksgiving for answered prayers. As you approach the main altar, you can't help but notice the wide variety of Saint and Marian statues on both sides of the tabernacle. You may have also noticed in all three segments of this Sacred Space video that there are prayer requests written down on pieces of paper and placed in the hands or at the feet of the different statues throughout the Basilica. On the far right hand side of the lower basilica is a unique purgatory altar that we've never seen before in our travels thus far. The sculpture was adorned with petitions of pilgrims and parishioners alike. The piece of this particular sculpture that struck me was the altar boy at the bottom right whose arms were overflowing with petitions. To the immediate left of the main altar is a beautiful sculpture of Jesus laying in the tomb and a statue of Saint Therese of Lisieux. On the far left side of the lower basilica is an amazing collection of holy relics including first class relics from the Twelve Apostles and John the Baptist. A first class relic is a piece of bone or hair from the saints and is kept in a special place of honor for veneration.
Visiting this sacred space is sure to be a spiritual refreshment at any time, and if you're planning a trip, we suggest giving yourself at least two full days to visit. Thanks for sharing our pilgrimage, and we'll see you at the next Catholic Waypoint.